Okay, so let's dive a little bit deeper into this dynamic. Where do I live? Guess what? The same city as the University of Texas. Who just had to leave the University of Texas coaching football? None other than Charlie Strong. The black guy, they say, got fired because of racism and all this other kind of crap. Nobody's oblivious to the fact that I blogged about that whole situation. What people were oblivious was he was actually applying some of what I was writing in the blog to his program. See, now you got a problem, though, because you have some of these same coaches start getting all warped in their thinking. Where now all of a sudden it's like, well, I wonder if her son, this is the thing where you talk about meddling people. Now they created X into somebody that he supposedly needs this mentor, this father figure. This again is why I said that one mentor, I bring him up because it was almost comical when he was like, I'm not quite sure why they felt he needed this because they were nosy because they live in these boxes where the cookie cutter apply every scenario to some boys this is not a new thing for these same people so every year as they take my ideas and apply them to situations they apply some weird labels on him so it's very odd because i started seeing how it's spinning out of control some of these kids have links to charlie strong i'm not dumb so when you say certain things about just like when x went to that same apartment building where these other two boys live when i wrote something real about the texas longhorn football team if you are so childish where now you call him intentionally over there to play basketball to start stuff with him I got to keep him around from you because you are what they call an idiot in sports. Let's break this down. An idiot in sports cannot separate that emotion from something like a sport. They take it so serious and so to heart that their whole life revolves around it. And you do stupid stuff behind sports. This is where you see all the riots at the games and some kind of crazy stuff that goes on. It goes on in the kids too, trust me. You have some of the other high schools come to the other school and steal phones and do stuff to keep them rattled and all that. What you didn't know is a lot of these dynamics take place with kids on the same team. This is where I'm seeing this toxic mess that's been going on when you have all these middle schools start meshing each sport. The boys get a little bit more insecure because they know eighth grade at the middle school I was. Now you got all these middle schools come together, but now you've got the little problem where you have too many people who are afraid. Fear. Fear makes people do stupid stuff. Fear means if I give you advice about a 400 and you got slower, right? Because you didn't run summer track and you think I'm going to sit here and let you blame me. Okay. Understand what I'm saying. So this is also a child read my blog about what happened to X in eighth grade. No, that was real. What you're saying you made up because don't forget that first track meet what X did in the open 400. I'm trying to keep people grounded because he's not coming back to that school. I refuse to put him back in this mess because this has been three years in the making. All these people who have all these connections to UT that knew Charlie Strong or whatever, they could not separate it. And that's why I go back again. Now we're going backtrack him. So I need to plant these seeds with people who remember how this played out when the mentor that you assigned to him at one point tries to tell these folks I'm not quite sure what you think about this boy, but I'm already trying to tell you this is what I'm seeing. So you have to also question intent because now you have this athletic boy that if you have a coach that wants to get a hold of him, sometimes they'll lie. Sometimes you have people that get so caught up in, oh, I want to work with this boy or this and that. Now they want to start making up some stuff about the parent who they wanted to also, what, point as being what? hot headache, maybe she drinks, maybe she's on drugs like some of these other boys' parents, and we need to really save this boy. That's why when the one lady, not realizing what she was exploring or saying to me, was like, I took him here and I told him, that's not an officer, that he has so much potential. I'm like, okay, you guys are making the same mistake the middle school made in the sense that you're still making this about him as opposed to this other stuff that was going around. Now it's staring y'all in the face, right? Because he's not there. And now you have some of these same situations going on. You have the situations where I warned you, where you have these pothead kids, right? Think about it. I already said this in middle school. But they thought it was a joke. The kids are having to fight some of the people who smoke because they don't want to smoke. So it's a real issue, not a household issue that I have here. It's an issue you have there in that environment. 
So at the end of the day, if you have some of these kids that smoke, that are sitting there fighting these other kids when they say no, guess what kids you need to be handling? This one's okay. Take care.